talked a lot, a lot about the lack of education at the level of professionals, healthcare providers, professionals, and so forth. And I simply wanted to make sure that everybody in this room knows that thanks to you, we have actually uh, uh, requirements, uh, CME requirements for physicians in two states in the United States. Uh, Hawaii and California, where physicians uh, will be mandated since 2014 to um, fulfill a certain number of CME hours in order to um, renew their license. That's the good news. The bad news is that we have 48 more states where we have nothing. It seems obvious that medical doctors would learn about the cause of their diseases. Excuse me, I knew when I finished my internal medicine residency in 1978, I told my chief of medicine, 80% of the diseases I treat are caused by the food that people eat. I knew that. And I told him also that if people change their diet, almost everyone would get better. But that was 1978. Here we are in 2014. And virtually nothing's changed. In fact, in some ways, it's worse with these New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine articles. The food industry has the money. That's why we're, they're winning. The reason we have a chance is we have the truth and success on our side. They can't argue what you and I know to be true. But they can bury it with money, and they have. Yes? Hi. Um... I really enjoyed your talk. Um, my name is Amit Heiss. I'm, I'm an MD in the area. And um, I, 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 I'm trying to wrap my brain about giving diabetics like potatoes and like, you know, whole grains. And I mean, I, I really, um, I've tried to implement some things in my clinic from Gabriel Cousins that does a lot of raw foods and that type of thing in terms of him healing diabetes. Did your patients, they exercise a lot? Like, did they just follow your nutritional plan? That was the only thing that they did? Like, did they do anything else? Oh, that's all they have to do is stop the food poison. That's all you have to do. You don't have to think good thoughts. You don't have to go to church on Saturday or Sunday. You don't have to carry a good luck charm around. All you, just like a smoker. If you stop the tobacco, they stop coughing. A drunk stops falling down when you stop the booze. If you or look at people with food poisoning, just stop the food poisoning. But you can't say to people, you must stop the burgers. You must stop the cheese. They go, I would starve to death. Well, it's like asking me to stop breathing or stop drinking water. I can't do that. You have to tell them, no, no, no. You must live on a starch-based diet because that's what people always have. Of the 10 million people who've walked planet Earth, 8 billion have lived on starch-based diets. But they also, the pictures that you have of people who exercise, I mean, these are people, ah, gladiators, exercise, exercise these are all, so, I mean, I can see starch-based diets with people who did a lot of manual labor, but a lot of people here, they get all this, you know, I mean, they're just sedentary, so how Even if you're sedentary, if you stop the food poisoning, you will lose most of the excess weight. And the food poisoning I'll tell you why you know this to be true. Most of you are old enough that you have seen what's happened in the world. There was a time when you could go to Vietnam, or Cambodia, or Thailand, and stand in the town square with 100,000 people. Nobody was fat. There were school teachers, ministers, all kinds of people that did sedentary jobs, and there wasn't a single fat person there. No, there wasn't. There were never any fat people when they lived on starch-based diets, without exception. Now you say sumo wrestlers, they get a special diet. You have to feed people these high-octane foods, particularly the meat, the dairy, the vegetable oils, and they get sick like kings and queens of old. This is the story that goes back, I know, at least 4,000 years. And it's consistently published in the scientific literature. It's in every religion, every religious teaching there is. The truth is simple and easy to understand. Maybe not profitable. So you don't have to exercise. You exercise now. I, I, I know you're a physician, but you exercise getting from patient room to patient room. You exercise chasing around your two-year-old. You exercise plenty. The problem is lack of exercise. What do you think? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And it just is, it is that simple. Tell me why it's not. Tell me why I'm wrong. What am I missing? This is food poisoning. And the way you fix it is you stop the food poisoning, but you have to give them something to replace. So you give them oatmeal, you give them hash brown potatoes, you give them bean burritos. Uh, you know, we stayed in this hotel here for the last couple of days. Uh, Mary and I and the kids had no trouble eating. 
There's plenty of food here. But there's also a lot of food poisoning too. You just have to go order, order properly. This is not hard to get. You go to the Mexican restaurant down the street. In fact, Jason wanted to go to one that we took him to last year, a famous Mexican restaurant. You get whole beans and corn tortillas. Or you go to the Chinese restaurant a couple of blocks over. Or the Japanese restaurant. The food's there. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we've been taught things like if you don't drink milk, you get calcium deficiency. But there's never been a case of calcium deficiency ever reported in the world literature on any natural diet. Oh, well, what do you think? Or you might get protein deficiency. Excuse me, Walter Kepter cut white rice in half with white sugar because there was too much protein for his patients. There has never been a case of protein deficiency ever reported on any natural diet that was sufficient in calories in all of human history. But when you say you're a vegetarian, what's the first thing they're going to ask? Where do you get your protein? But there's no such thing. Or if I say omega-3, you say fish. But no fish ever made an omega-3 fat. Ever. It's so weird you can hardly believe it, isn't it? That's why we got to fix it.